Delta is an angler's paradise. There's 1,200 navigable miles out here. It's a never-ending learning process. You can fish out here your entire life and never fish the same water twice. What I love about the Delta is you can go out and do three or four types of fishing in one day. It's one of the top largemouth bass fisheries in the country. It's one of the top striped bass fisheries definitely on the west coast. We have a ton of different fish species out here. There's never a bad time to fish the Delta. And I think it's the best fishery in California. We started our day super early this morning in hopes of uh, getting a big striper to blow up in the surface. So we uh, left the dock in the dark, just a hint of light starting to come over the, the horizon. Ran about 30 miles to uh, the West Delta where we met up with Bobby. Definitely uh, the top conventional pro out here in the in the Delta. He knows this place like the back of his hands. Every time I'm on the boat with him, I feel like I learn a ton. You know, I'm, I'm 50 years old now, and I've been fishing out here since I could hold a fishing pole. Um, I was pretty much, I was raised out here on, on this river. Uh, we spent all of our weekends here. We spent all of our summer vacations out here on the river. So it, it's part of me, it's who I am. Uh, this place to this day, um, it still gets me jacked up and I get excited every single day. I got a thousand miles of water and banks to choose from as to where I'm gonna be going today. Delta stripers, there's uh, definitely the glamour fish for most fly anglers, probably the secondary uh, fish species for most bass anglers. They're such a great game fish. They're, they eat the fly incredibly well. They're a shallow water fish, making them very accessible for the fly. Um, and once you hook one, they're just a fantastic fish as far as how hard they pull. They're very strong fish. The best part of our day thus far has been a little session for stripers there where we ran into a nice little pot of them. Uh, but we're still hunting for that big fish. It's, we know he's out here and it, I think it's only a matter of time before we connect with the big one. I love uh, fishing with conventional anglers, uh, in particular Bobby Barrick. He really helps me when it comes to colors. Like I think fly anglers, we have our set colors that we like, but Bobby helps uh, kind of expand my horizons when it comes to different color options. And then learning how the lures work and move. Um, the walking the dog technique has been a huge breakthrough for fly anglers to actually have a fly that will do that motion on the surface. A lot of our biggest stripers have come on the fly called the pole dancer, uh, which was an innovation of one of our friends, Charlie Bisharat. That fly has that side to side motion that is that pelagic or predator fish find intoxicating. Our striper fishery is, is year round, but most fly anglers target them in the fall eight, nine weights, catching a four or five pounder is going to put a good deep bend in your rod. Um, and then we do see them over 10 pounds, you know, fairly often. And then the fish over 20 pounds is the ones we're all chasing. And uh, there's been a lot fewer of those in recent years, but uh, they're still out there. And that's what keeps us all going. <laughs>